Okay, so we have to solve this differential equation. Let's try to do it. So the idea is that maybe we can separate it. So the goal in this problem, perhaps, is to have maybe stuff with x and then a dx here equal to some other stuff with y dy. So separate it. That would make this what's called a separable differential equation. So a good first step maybe is to rewrite our exponential function. So we have dy dx equals, we can write this as e to the 5x times e to the 4y using properties of exponents because when you multiply the e's you add the exponents. So now maybe we can divide by e to the 4y and multiply by dx. When we do that, that puts us at dy over e to the 4y equals e to the 5x dx. Right, just taking the e to the left-hand side over here and multiplying by dx. Now we can integrate both sides. Let's go ahead and bring this e here on the left upstairs. That makes the exponent negative. So it's e to the negative 4y dy equals e to the 5x dx. So these integrals are both pretty easy if you know the formula. If you ever have e to a number times x, which we'll call b, as long as your number is not 0, you can just divide by the number. So you can write it as 1 over b, e to the bx plus c. You're allowed to do that. This is super useful. You could show the work by making two separate u substitutions, uh, but it's not worth it. So in this first case, you will divide by negative 4. So we can write that as negative 1 fourth e to the negative 4y. Now we're supposed to add a c to both sides, but if you add a c to both sides, what happens is you can combine the c's and rename it and call it c later. So it doesn't really matter, so you only have to add the c one time. And this is 1 fifth e to the 5x plus c. And that's a good answer. That's, that's a pretty good answer. You can keep going and rewrite stuff, but that should be an acceptable answer to this problem. This is called an implicit solution because we didn't solve for y. You can solve for y, but uh, the problem didn't specify to, so we can just leave it like this. I hope this video has been helpful.